Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a squeaky foot pedal sound from a piano recording in Logic Pro 10. So in this project, you'll notice this stereo bounce. What I basically did is I joined the two mono tracks. You can do this by hitting Command and J to create one stereo track. And let's just hear a bit of the recording so you can hear the squeaky foot pedal. And then I'll show you how to actually remove this squeaky sound. That again. And the pianist at the start, she also comments on the squeaky foot pedal on one of the takes because it is really off-putting. The best thing to do is to use a piano that doesn't have a squeaky foot pedal. It will sound a lot better. But in this recording, the only piano we could use at that time had a really squeaky foot pedal. It is so squeaky that is really putting me yeah, off. No. Oh, God. So you can hear when she starts playing and using the sustain pedal, it really squeaks and it obviously gets picked up by the microphones. The microphones we're using are Omni microphones, which basically means it picks up the whole room as well. So this really wasn't the best microphones to use um, for recording a piano that has a squeaky foot pedal, but this is all we had at this moment in time. We we're thinking about re-recording the piano again, but I think with the tips I'm going to show you here, it does actually disguise and hide a lot of the piano squeak. I'm just going to play you now a part of the piano sound where it kicks in a bit more. You can still hear the squeaky sound. What I also did is I recorded just the sound of the squeaky foot pedal, like so. The reason I did this is because I decided to use a Waves plugin called X-Noise. So what this basically does is it picks up the frequencies that you want to remove. So how you do this is you just put the squeaky sound or whatever you want to remove on a loop. The squeaky sound is quite hard to remove compared to a hum because there's a few different frequencies in the squeaky sound, but it does still work. So we just hit learn and this learns the squeaky sound. And now we've got the squeaky sound we can start to remove from the recording. You can hear it now disappear. So this is the threshold all the way down. Let's just put the threshold up and you can hear the squeaky sound has gone. So let's now hear this in the mix and you'll notice that the squeaky sound isn't as obvious as it was before. Oh God. So this is with the X noise plugin on and this is without it. It does cut out some of the piano frequencies that we do want to hear. So that's the downside of using the X noise. What I also did as well is I added the EQ and I found where the squeak was. And then I took it out. It was about here. And when we add this with the X noise, it's basically taking the squeak out. Because I've cut a lot of the high end out, I decided to add this one knob brightener, which basically just brightens up the sound a bit. We can always go in and edit the threshold or the reduction for the X noise. So this is the threshold all the way down. You can hear the squeaky sound. And if we put the threshold up, we have it too high it does make the piano sound like it was recorded underwater so we want to find a fine balance where we cut out the annoying squeaky sound but we don't want it to sound underwater I'd probably have it about here so this is with the waves plugins and this is without so obviously without we can hear the squeaky sound and with it's not as clear or crisp sounding but it does get rid of the squeaky piano sound because that foot pedal can be really annoying 
And I think once we get some bass and strings and vocals on the top of this recording, I think it's going to sound fine, really. The squeak, yeah, it can ruin recordings, but ideally, I'd say go back and re-record the piano again. But if you don't have the opportunity to do that, have a look at using the X-Noise, a bit of EQ to find the squeak, and also, it doesn't necessarily have to be the one knob brighter, but I just like this because it's really easy to use. It's just one knob, basically. That's why it's called one knob. So I hope you find this video useful, and I hope you can remove some annoying sustained squeaky foot pedals from your recordings too.